Let's go, Oklahoma fans. This game, are you freaking kidding me? Jackson Arnold lights up a really bad Temple team. I'm going to tell you what I like. I'm going to tell you some things I feel Oklahoma needs to work on. And I like the fact that they started off here with the little dipsy doodle reverse uh, with the, the, the orbit motion. It was actually a post-snap orbit motion. And you get a somewhat decent gain that stretches the defense from right to left on first down. All right, so we pick it up here. I love the design. Okay, Temple is in cover three. Okay, so back here, back here, back here. Man, this is really, really good stuff. So the vertical's job is to eat up the safety. The deep over job is supposed to come over to this side of the field. And Jackson Arnold's job is to read this safety and then also read the depth of this corner, right? So if the corner runs all the way here to, to help get over the top of this, then you're throwing the ball to General Booty. I'm kidding. That's not General Booty. Um, but he decides to take the deep shot, and you'll see that the deep shot was an absolute freaking dot of a throw. So, Arnold, you'll see this throw was really good. This is actually a really good spin move right here from this defensive lineman. Spin back into a gap that's wide open. Both of them actually spun. Okay, 76 did a better job of resetting against it. Guard, uh, or yeah, the guard right here does get beat. And look at this arm strength by Arnold while he's getting hit to still get this through. A better corner would have already been back here. Okay, this corner right here should have been getting a little bit more depth, if you ask me. It's a tough, it's a tough ask. Uh, I don't know all the coverage rules or anything like that, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But that's still an absolute dart of a throw to a player who had a good bowl game last year, three up until a point. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Uh, we get to here. It's third and seven. Okay, let's see how Jackson Dart does here in kind of a weird spot. Pocket is fine and man this would have been nice if you would have seen him hit this okay um and you'll see right here he could have stayed in and hit this shallow drag and that's picking up the first down um he does decide to tuck and really run for it and this is part of his game right it's not a huge huge part of his game but it is a part of his game some feel he's a better runner than dylan gabriel and he makes it near the first down the hard way. Man, when I was watching uh, Arnold at Geyer, I love the creativity, okay? The design of this play, split zoning the, um, the, the tight end across the field here, this is a good job by Zero reading this and seeing it, okay? But look at Arnold just kind of float this ball. That is very, very, very sexy. Look at that throw. And you get a touchdown. You rarely, rarely see a throw like that. Uh, not a difficult throw, but very creative. One thing that's going to be very interesting about Oklahoma, I actually really like this play call um, from Temple. Pull multiple guards and run in the opposite direction. Okay? Let the play design block the guys instead of the actual linemen block the guys with misdirection. Okay? So, one thing that's going to be interesting is Oklahoma's tackling, right? So, you get a missed tackle here. Stutzman is probably the best tackler in college football, and you'll see him miss one as well. It is the first game, so tackling is going to not be good basically for anyone, but it's going to be interesting to see how this OU team tackles next year. But you do get a fumble, and OU ball. Let's go. There it is. Tuck and run. Let's go, big guy. Let's go, big guy. Give, give me a big man tutty. Give me a big man tutty. Hand the ball off. Hand the ball off. Let someone else go. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, so first and 10, miscommunication here, which obviously helps with this. Safety loses leverage at the snap. Was this DB supposed to run with the, the slot corner here? I don't know. Um, there's also a secondary player. Arkansas also runs this play. We do a lot of Arkansas film studies. It's like this second wave of a scene. And then, you know, you should never do this. One more thing, though, before we show you the throw, all right, they do have a problem here protecting this. You pull these linemen with these misdirection play actions, it's really hard to get that block on the three-tech from uh, the guard or the center. 
and still you uh, still score a touchdown. And you'll see it here, okay? The three tech uh, right here is lined up so far out. So this is a difficult block for 66 who has to get a good snap to the center. And you'll see that the three tech gets a really, really good get off. Okay. And 66, it's just not the best rep. Obviously, uh, you know, right here, you want to be as flat as you possibly can. Okay. Because you got to get all the way over there. And he gets a little too far upfield and doesn't really get a piece. But because the coverage was so bad on the back end, Arnold, for the second time, delivers a really good ball while he's getting hit. But it's also very, very, very wide open. So it's third and Shawnee here. You're crowding the line of scrimmage. I love this on third and long. Make it very difficult for the protection. And you'll see that 15 backs out and becomes the overhang and makes a really, really nice play on this. Okay, so safeties drop back in the middle of the field open, all right? And your job is to just get all over five right here. This is a good, good, good job. They're letting them play physical. I like that. And 15, this is called tip drill, right? Every team practice uh, practices tip drill. And you get the pick, nice turnover, and 15 is mad. <laughs> He's not even... Uh, Paying attention here. All right, so we move ahead here. Five-ish minutes left to go in the second quarter. I want to talk about penetration, okay, as an adult. Pause. Huh? 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 I'm starting to show off. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a pause, okay? So 58 right here, the three-tech has been generating a lot of penetration. Penetration is not necessarily the worst thing for an offensive line. You don't want extreme penetration. Um, because defense alignment can run themselves out of the play. But the guard right here saw that 58 slanted into the inside, and he thought the center was going to pick up the guard, but the center had a zero or a shade over the top of him. So the guard let 58 go, and he thought the center was going to pick it up, and it's just too late, right? So you... Get the penetration through here. So now 58 needs to make the play or else Temple's in a lot of trouble, right? Some defensive lines are taught, hey, especially on running downs, we don't want to penetrate really at all because it could take ourselves out of the play. But if you're 58 right here, it's a difficult play. But if you are able to get through, you've got to make this play. The good thing for Oklahoma here is they were running a stretch, okay? So unless the design of this is to let 58 go through untouched, the stretch here, because it's not a downhill handoff and it's horizontal, it makes it nearly impossible for 58 to make this play. And Barnes right here had a really, really good run. Now, a nice open hole to run through. Good second-level block right here. You need to make 29 miss, and he does not, okay? You've got to make that guy miss if you're a single digit. Probably the best play in football right now is a slot fade. Quarterbacks have gotten so good at throwing it and receivers have gotten so good at running it. And right here, the DB gets burned really badly. And you want to throw this football actually more towards this sideline area instead of vertically. So he's catching the football while running away from the DB at a 45 degree angle. And he gets it there. Tutty. This right here, are you freaking kidding me, Jackson Dart? He starts off looking left. Is It doesn't look like any of that is open. Okay, he thought about throwing it. Instead, he's tucking and running. And, man, OU fans, you told me when I did the Jackson Dart film study versus Arizona that you felt he was a better runner than Dylan Gabriel. And I didn't know if I truly believed that because Gabriel was such an effective red zone runner in particular. Who can, who will ever forget that Kansas game? Uh, I know you guys lost uh, in Lawrence. But still, I mean, he's got some juice. This play is a quick hitter, all right? In theory, you want this ball to be going here, okay? But Temple does a good job of getting over the top of it. Could that still be thrown? Yeah, I think so. And I think you kind of sort of need to throw that. But Arnold waits for the secondary here. You'll see that the DB gets his head into the backfield instead of staying with his man. And that helps create separation. Darnold waits for it and makes a really good throw. I will tell you this, though. That 
versus a better team will rarely, rarely be open. All right, OU fans, this game started getting really ugly. We'll break down a few plays while also talking about this team. Obviously, Arnold's stats are really good. Love the design pull run. Don't know how much I love it in a 34-0 game with your big NIL starting quarterback, but we're here, okay? And I would be telling Arnold to get the F down, and he does. He actually does just get tackled. But, man, what a game from him. I mean, he, he did look really sharp. Obviously, OL has some penetration issues. Uh, defensively, a lot of you OU fans know now it wasn't as bad as it was for uh, my LSU Tigers last year. Um, there were some sloppy tackling games, or at least I remember some sloppy tackling games from OU that obviously needs to be cleaned up. Temple was able to get some vertical passing concepts, but, I mean, this is such a bad team that, you know, you're never, ever, ever uh, scared about losing. So I did my own. There he is. Not a hot seat at all at OU. I mean, it, it might be warmish. Obviously, you want to see some results first year in the SEC, but a lot of you Oklahoma fans know the win total of uh, seven and a half. Very interesting. I do think Oklahoma has a very fascinating next couple of weeks, right? You scheduled two non-Power Fives over the next few weeks, and, well, they're both, like, decent programs that are in rebuilding mode, right? Willie Fritz goes from Houston to Tulane. Um, once again, you see uh, a missed tackle here. You see another missed tackle here. Uh, the tackling has just got to get better for OU. You get Houston, you get Tulane, but I do think the biggest, and I, I'm not hyperbolizing this, for the first month of the SEC season, I'm not sure if there's a bigger game on the schedule than Oklahoma-Tennessee. I mean, that game might be a college football playoff decider because I do think both of those teams are kind of in that 8 to fringe-ish 12 range. So I'm very excited to watch this team this year. And OU fans, I'll say it. How much you guys blow this film study up will determine how much more of these uh, that you guys will get because you absolutely showed me so much love on the Arizona one. And here's the thing. I don't know this team as well as a lot of you do. So correct me on anything. I'm not a coach. I just give my absolute best educated guesses. And once again, got to be disciplined. Got to stay away from the personal fouls. Now that one was a little 50-50 because he was down the sideline. I don't, I don't think that was just some terrible, terrible hit. But please, please, please let me know what you guys want to see. Now, since we are here, we'll go ahead and break down this play. Third and three, a little play action, jet sweep, okay. We got it. I, I want to see this thrown. I don't give a dang if there's coverage, okay. But it's not thrown. I, I don't remember this play. Actually, I wasn't watching – uh, at this point, okay. So I read that this was their first trip in the red zone. So OU's defense, really good versus a bad Temple team. Once again, some tackling stuff, but I think all that could get cleaned up. Stutzman is still a freaking dude. And uh, we will see. Uh, but Temple avoids the shutout. Uh, the 51-3 to shellacking. We'll talk to you soon, okay? It is. Power. Our SEC. Boom. And tonight... We're doing chicken parm. Let's go, Vegas.